a Saturday. I think that's ludicrous. I know LG's been up and down, but the fact they might not play on a Saturday? What if Rise isn't playing Saturday? Uh, and, it, and it's one of those things, right? If you're a Rise Nation, you lose a pretty respectable round one to, to TK. There's nothing you can do about it. LG's. You, <laughs> LG, you lose to Elevate, and then you have to play to Rise, play against Rise. That's sort of punishment, right? It's kind of like, well, you should have won. L LG lost to their coach. Yes, well, former coach. Former coach, okay, correct, former coach, but that's still funny to me. Yeah, I, I mean, that LV team was just put together for the LCQ, and well, they responded. Unbelievable, but here we go. One of these teams' dreams dies tonight. They don't make it to Saturday. LG, Rise Nation, Map 1, Valkyrie, Hardpoint, let's get right into it. And if there's someone to watch, it might be TJ, because the last game one hard point he played, he dropped 58, which was a kill record for London Docks. Unfortunately, they lost the map. Yeah, and if you're TJ, there's nothing you can do about that. You played your best possible game. You have to keep performing at that level. You know what your three teammates can do. You just have to wait for them to play, to bring that same level as you. But I mean, you just have to, you know, just brush it off and keep playing at the insane high level that he was at. So we know how good Rise is. Obviously, you know, them and TK, the favorites coming into this. LG have been all over the place, but would you say LG is absolutely a team that plays kind of to the level of their competition? Uh, I, I had to agree with Nameless and what he said on the desk. If LG play a great 45 minutes of Call of Duty, they can win this series, no problem. Like, when you look at the talent on this roster, John, Formal, Sykes, and Jcap, you know these are our, our champions. These are guys that can do it. So for Rise Nation, you just have to survive tonight. Well, you mentioned 45 minutes. It's uh, 48 seconds to zero. Uh, LG... Uh, <laughs> Finally gets their first point on the board, but we know how kind of swing-oriented this map can be. It can be very back and forth. You can chain together three hard points, three solid holds. So we've seen insane comebacks on this map. Let's see if the comeback starts now for LG. Slack and Formal starting out well on the LG side. For Rise Nation, really just Slasher sitting at six and four. Despite that, significant lead early. Yeah, and I think it's a great start for Slack because he had a really rough series against Elevate. And you wouldn't expect that. This is really one of the guys who's been one of the more consistent players throughout the year for Luminosity. It's really guys like John who, you know, at times can be a bit inconsistent. J Cap, of course, but if Slack can play at that level, you know he can do just this. He's at eight and six right now. And well, LG, you said it, they're right back in this game. Now we're going to talk about this rotation. Think about it. Zero points on the first hard point for LG, zero points on the second hard point for Rise Nation until that moment. They're they're going to get the final five or so seconds, but it, it's basically perfect hold answered by perfect hold. So right back to just about a tie game. But as we look at Storage Bunker, Rise Nation will be set up inside first. Let's see if Slack and Luminosity can get the break, Joe. Yeah, you have a pretty good hold, but there's that first kill for John. The pinch is being set up by Formal. He's going all the way through office. Watch that number four arrow. And here we go. Luminosity starting to push on in, but Looney there to the right as well. Here comes the pinch from LG. Jcap, he's able to find one, but all of his teammates go down right now. And well, there we go. A great hold by Rise Nation on that first push. Is this game going to come down to who can get the first break? Probably. It, it definitely <laughs> could, but if you're Luminosity, I like this play. It's going to be very tough to get these last 20 seconds, but just rotate on over to office. Make sure you secure those spawns like they just did right there. Well, it's three basically perfect, flawless holds in a row from every team. Let's see if LG can now answer and bring this basically back to a tie game. Uh, last couple of seconds may go to LG if John's able to win another one-on-one, -on -one and he does just that. But he's going to go ahead and rotate out. Just give up the final couple seconds. Make sure they set up for office. So they're set up inside. Rise Nation now waiting to leap. TJ looking to be the injured man. Catches Slack. Formal, though, waiting on the outside. Does get traded out immediately. Slasher finds two with the far. J caps the last one. And there is the first break in this hard point. And what's the, the awareness by TJ? They just checked that corner. You can see you're thinking, why is he going into operations bunker? Like, what is he doing? He's just checking all of his corners. He gets that first blood. And there goes the 4v3 for Rise. Slasher was able to find a couple of kills with that bar. He's having a great game at 12 and 10 right now. We'll see. As you said, that is the first break. Gunless starting to heat up as well. Getting close to streaks, but he does end up dropping. Slack finds a pair, but they haven't been able to break in yet. TJ doing his best to hold the line. Slasher comes in as a reinforcement, and once again, Rise Nation clear the line, but they have pushed out the lead. The back and forth contest is gone for now. Rise Nation have a significant lead. Now it's going to be on Luminosity to begin to mount a bit of a comeback. But up until this point, they have not showed the ability to kind of crack through that early setup from Rise Nation. I think the one good thing for Luminosity is you don't have streaks on the side of Rise, right? They, they're not able to snowball this even further. But smoke stacks we know can be very tough to hold. If a couple of good nades connect on the player in the hill, that'll open up the floodgates for Rise. Here comes that push. Formal, he's able to win that first one. But TJ and Looney respond with a couple of their own in their end. 
So back to back times now. The Rise Nation has got in. You're going to see this, this lead basically explode. They're starting to take over the game and blow out Luminosity. They're trying to fight back in, but they keep running into the bar of Slasher and TJ in there as well. Time just accruing in bunches right now for Rise Nation. But look at the scoreboard. Like, if you would have told me this is the, sort of the stats right now, would you tell me it's a 100-point game? Well, no, it's just been coming down to those holes. Because it comes down to two breaks. That's, that's it. Like, they're, it should be close in kills when you think about it, right? It's just really those two breaks that have been the separation. But if you look at it, somebody struggling right now, at least on the Luminosity side, J-Cap's got to pick it up, right? He's at 8 and 14, slacking a little bit, needs to turn it around. Yeah, what a, what a crazy adventure it would be for Cap. I mean, how successful he has been at so many CWL championships throughout his career to place top 16. I know how disappointed as a competitor he would be, but Rise once again, guess what? They break on through the early setup, and, well, this is starting to get a little bit ugly now for LG. 100-plus point advantage for Rise, and they keep piling it on. 40 seconds remaining in ventilation room, and they have a phenomenal setup right now. A couple entries do come in, so the collapse from Luminosity should strike as players coming off spawn from Rise Nation. Gunless getting very close to streaks again, but he does end up dropping. There's a breakthrough for LG, but just under 30 seconds remaining as Formal finds two kills. But with this big a lead... Okay, so we did talk about the fact on this map, you yep. can chain together two, three hard points. You absolutely have to do that now if you're LG. Yeah, they had a great operations bunker last time around. Let's see if they can do it. You can see Jcap starting to go the long way around. John staying alive. Just kidding. TJ comes on a bit of a flank, and now Slasher and TJ are going to try and lock this down because all of those blue arrows are going to start to push. TJ, he's got the awareness, able to find Jcap. Looney with another one, and Rise. They win this rotation as three go down for Luminosity. I was going to say, the only good thing right now for LG is there's no streaks on the side of Rise Nation. Maybe that opens up an avenue for that comeback, but no, they're just losing every single rotation. That, I'm that's impressed. Possible. I'm impressed you were able to find a positive, Joe, but uh, Rise Nation has now eclipsed the 200-point mark, and they're looking to put this game away. Technically, they can get it done now with a flawless hold. They've oh done it before. My. Slasher snapping. That's four dead, and the game could end on Operations Bunker as Rise Nation begins to push out and win gunfights. It's Luminosity just trying to get out of their spawn. Oh Look my at this from Flaster. 28 and 16 dies with the six streak. Can LG get in? Can they survive to see another hard point? That's the question right now, and it doesn't look like it. Is everybody just being shut down? Luminosity looking to be 100 point clubbed in game one, and that's exactly what it's gonna be. Rise Nation, dominate. Well, that was a statement. Again, Rise Nation, they had a very tough winner's round one. It just seems like TK has their number right now. It just seems like the confidence is there for Team Caliber. But everyone else for Rise Nation could be quick work. What a game one performance out of them. I mean, if you think about it, is what the, the second hard point LG got a hold they got 46 or so points there from then on the rest of the game they got yeah, they like had 50, 48 in operations yeah bunker. they got about 50 points total so once that first break came in for rise nation it, it basically just they ran away with it absolutely took over it was actually I think it was back to back hard points that they kind of that, that they're able to break in and just really absolutely open up the game but yeah I think you're right I think that's one hell of a statement and what's kind of unreal to think about Sort of for the LG side, you went 9-0 and in groups. You might go like 0-6 map count once you get to bracket play. It's just one of those things. What this reminds me of is like my like 2014 winner, like losers round one bracket. It, it, you know, you, we had to play TK first round. Like in those were two top six teams in the world facing off early on. And it's like a match like this can carry so much momentum for the tournament. One of these guys, like a team like Rise Nation, they win this. We could see them in the grand final on Sunday. Who knows what could happen here? And we all watched Seattle, or a lot of us did, and you know the Rise Nation is capable of doing it. You know, they, they were the first team to ever start in loser's bracket, one of those open events, and make the whole run through and win the tournament. So we know they can do it. They can do it from the winner's side. They can do it from the loser's side. If they get this win, I think you're right. It can absolutely propel them. I mean, who's who's going to beat them? Who has beat them all year? It's just been Team Caliber, right? I mean, maybe you have Red Reserve, but you know how lopsided that matchup has been. But LG, they have to get right back into it in this search and destroy. It's so important to tie this series up one-to-one.
Well, you take a look at the banners sitting above our stage right now, showing all the past CWL champions. It's presented by G Fuel, and it's beautiful. If you're in the crowd, just look up at the sky. You can see basically all the tournament winners for the Call of Duty World League since its inception, and it's, uh, it's exciting stuff, man. The storied history continues to grow. We're putting kind of one more notch in the belt with this tournament, and it's a big one. Yeah, a couple more years, and we're going to be able to go around a whole arena, yeah. right? Just with all the open <laughs> events that we've had, we'll have to figure something well, out. We need smaller banners. Yes, <laughs> I, I guess that would work as well. <laughs> oh, God. Well, again, a statement game in game one. Search and Destroy, though, coming up next. I believe it was London Docks, and when you and I talked earlier, it's a pretty solid map for both, right? These are great maps for, I believe, both teams. Like, that hard point was one of the best for both of them. You know, you look at just sort of the entire map set, and both have played their vetoes pretty strong, but LG... I mean, we knew when this roster formed, they sort of looked at the Pro League as, oh, that's going to be practice for Search and Destroy. Guess what happened? They didn't make the Pro League playoffs. They thought it was just going to be a, a, a walk through the breeze with all the talent on the roster. Hopefully, they fixed a, a map like London Dogs Search and Destroy. But yeah, Arden Forest, that's another one. I believe LG is 9-2 on that roster since the beginning of Stage 2, so very solid on it. But what's scary is uh, map one was also a good map for you, and uh, you get blown out. So the question is going to be, does, it, does the map matter, or is Rise Nation just a better team? Well, here's the thing, right? You look at Rise Nation their first year as the NTK. It felt like TJ, no one really, uh, no one was awake besides him. You saw Slasher really start to turn around, and you know on Hot Mike, we saw those graphs where he was top five in everything. If Slasher can step it up, that's when Rise Nation gets scary. That's the scariest part about this team. You know, anyone can get it done. Yeah, anyone we talked can about a Gunless or Looney. Like. Yeah, well, I mean, Gunless has been in the conversation for best player in the game all year. Same with Slasher. And we know Looney, does he need to step up at all times? No, but when he needs to, more often than not, he does. So I was, I was a bit shocked with that first series versus TK. I was. Now, did I think it would go the distance? Absolutely. But it was pretty convincing for Team Caliber. I, I didn't expect that. Yeah, neither did I hit, and I feel like Team Caliber, or no, sorry, not Team Caliber, Rise Nation is just going to have to look at Vito's and how they want to play. It just felt like every single time you look at the hard points, they just go TK's way, whether it's that London Docks or, again, Gibraltar, where instead you're not playing them hard on hard end for us. But enough about that match. I know that was a very big matchup, but into this one, there we go. Rush it down, Rise Nation, 21-8 and eight on London Docks, attacking rounds number one in CWL. So I think that's something you and I all need to talk about. You can kind of break it down for the people at home, just what they're doing right over the course of this, or if it's not working out, maybe what LG are doing well on defense to kind of shut down that dynamic attack they have on offense for London Docks. But let's get into the game two. Rise Nation with a blowout victory in game one. LG's turn to try and answer back. They've got to get a map victory here. They're not reverse sweeping a Rise Nation squad. They've got to get this win. Hey, yeah, it's going to be very tough to, to reverse sweep a Rise Nation squad. But Rise Nation looks like they're going to head towards this A site. They do, they do have Slasher playing inside Cole. So we'll watch that number three. And here we go. He's starting to move on up. And see, he's just trying to feel out the round, make sure nobody's flanking his team. But LG just take top mid control. So Slasher and John, looks like that was going to be a gunfight, but actually Gunless finds past? the first, first blood on the slack. I thought they were going to run into each other, but it looks like Slasher never saw John. Got a little bit of fortunate timing, but suddenly it's going to be John here in a one versus three. Looney, Slasher, and TJ all still up. Slasher up to the task, finds the kill in round one, goes to Rise Nation. Yeah, I don't know if that was fortunate timing for John or actually fortunate timing for Slasher. Yeah, I, I guess that's true. He, he finds a kill on a J-cap, and then he's top middle and finds that one. So a good offensive round. It just starts with that first blood on Gunless. I thought for a second John would pick up a couple kills, but by the time, by time he got that position, the rest of his team was dead. Yes. So there we go. We just talked about it, you know. Rise Nation so strong on that attack. We'll see if LG can respond with a round win of their own. Usually when we watch this LG roster, how do they open things up in times of desperation? It's John Sniper Rifle, right? It just felt like you have to rely on a guy like that. But he's got that airborne instincts, and it looks like Rise has actually countered this. They sent three towards this B site, and Looney finds a first blood on the slack. Jcap at least able to answer back. Formal finds one as well. Quickly, it'll be a two versus two. Jcap challenges the gunfight, able to beam Slasher. So now it's going to fall to Gunless in a 1v2 scenario and Formal able to pick up the kill, so LG will equalize. Let me ask you a question. Okay. LG lose this one. Does anyone win the trade? Ah. Uh, the answer is no. Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> I guess not. I, I suppose they made it further than Optic, but <laughs> it's still not what they would want, right? They nope. both feel defeated after this. Both probably didn't want the trade to happen. Yeah. Shot off formal right now. Again, the... The guy trying to go back to back, really the uh, the only remaining member trying to make that happen. 
Tied up at one apiece. Rise Nation back to offense. Now here's the difference, right? They give the A bomb side up, does Luminosity. They don't want Slack to get first blooded once again, but Slasher, he just peeks formal, rips his head off. They're gonna play the retake at A. We've seen that from time to time. Just don't let the bomb go down at the B site. Instead, well, Gunless just finds an easy pick. Yeah, we've seen them make the 4v4 retake work, but it's a much different scenario down a man. So this is gonna be very, very tricky. Bomb now getting planted by Looney. You see Luminosity stacked up around Fire and Crane right now looking to make a play. First guy up should be TJ. He set up at boxes, and the pressure beginning to mount now. Nade out, spot slacked, able to tag him and just get away with his life for now. Make sure he's got a bit of help, but LG have the clock against them, man advantage against them, and Slasher's got top mid control. Yeah, here's the problem. All that utility that they threw, they didn't find a kill, they didn't find an easy one when that player was weak. They just dodged all the nades, did Rise Nation. Slash is able to find one, but the number is just too strong for Rise, and another round win for Rise Nation. You know, we talked about the first map, you know, who's going to be the first team to kind of get that break after the opening start? The first team I, to win a D. Yeah, yeah, who's going to be able to get the defense? Or, or even more refined, can LG stop Ryze's offense? And you know Ryze will switch it up at some point. They're obviously going to take that free A bomb site, but they know LG will probably try to throw a couple of counters at it after this. So we'll see what they do on the next attack. But LG, they were able to respond with one of their own early on. Let's see if they can do it again. And you talked about John Sniper. Here it is. Uh, timing just off. Not able to hit the shot. Unless repeat it. So did John. TJ will drop to the first blood that JCap picks up. But man advantage now. 2LG. That's their first first blood in this game. Yeah, that uh, actually helps. But Slasher's there for the trade. So now just a 3v3. But the B-bomb site is wide open. And let's say like LG might notice that. Is Slasher, usually a guy who plays towards B, is inside... That brewery building. At what point does the sniper become more of a liability? When you miss, right? When hey, you, at when this you point, like once you miss that shot, is it is that the case? I, I think there's still an opportunity in a three versus three situation, but even with the bomb down at B, like how many angles do you have? You'll probably try and play underground, but right now it's just so difficult. He's trying to watch the back. He has that bomb carrier. That's formal. Just 30 seconds left. The rise rotation's here. LG has to go, and they have to go soon. And it looks like they're trying to rely on John to find a pick, but he misses the shot. But formal was able to find Slasher, but there's a trade once again from Rise. Every time LG picks up a kill, it's immediately go, traded. Slack, though, on the flank, finds one. It's going to be Gunless now in another 1v2. Watch LG the have to get the bomb. There's bomb. Yeah. They have to get bomb. They have to get it planted. Gunless is here. There's two players. First one's going to drop. Last man is John. John had Cypher in his hand. Was he able to find anything else? It's just a pistol. And John is able to get the kill. So once again, LG, even the odds. Yeah, it felt like Gunless was trying to play a bit of an off angle right there. They always, he obviously knew that the bomb was down. So maybe LG's thinking he's just going to play from the back. He's going to watch it with that bar and try to pick one of us off. But he plays up in their face with that bar, does get one kill, but doesn't see John to his left. So LG able to respond now 2-2. Two to two. And as we talked about, who's going to be able to win that first D? Somebody eventually, I would think. Let's see where the adjustments come in. Will Rise switch it up? Or are they going to continue to go towards that A site? And here we go. Looks like it's the first switch up as the bomb does head towards underground. Now, this is this reminds me of a phase play where they just send a, a bunch of players towards middle and A, and they just lead the bomb carrier towards B. Here we go. This is the chance to do it. Two kills to LG. Third almost there. Gunless gets away for a moment. Three peaks, but traded. TJ, last man up. He's in a 1v2. This is LG's chance to get a defensive round on the board and take the lead uh -oh. in this game, too. But do you ever count out the Iceman? <laughs> no, you never do, and that stun doesn't connect. Maybe JCap doesn't expect this. Oh, just the shoulder peak. One more bullet, and he's gone. Watch that nade. JCap trying to stay alive, able to do so. And we'll see. TJ still has a, a lot of time to work with, and he is going to decide to plan. But JCap and Slash starting to move on up, get a couple of different angles. Bomb goes down. This is going to be so tough <laughs> for TJ. Great teamwork on Illuminosity. Yeah, they, they got the information that he was planning. You know, if he gets that off and somehow maybe gets it in a sneaky position, he's able to get gun up and win a gunfight, he has a chance. But they swarm him. Don't give him any shot to get off bomb and make a play. As that's our first defensive round win, and LG now in control of this game too. And there was a first adjustment made towards that A site. I thought Rise was just going to go B. If they go B, they have a free bomb plan. If they have a smoke towards that gate, all of Luminosity were inside, you know, of fire, and they were down towards that lower docks. But Rise did try to switch it up. They just sent a couple of players middle. Now TJ trying to find a snipe. Does 
potentially see J-Cap. Yeah, oh, see just that. misses him. We don't see that a ton, but he pulls it out towards mid and tries to get that pick. J-Cap peeks again just as TJ strafes to the left. Well, LG, they realize the situation. They don't find anything. It looks like their B site is their favorite. Slasher in a good spot, though. Finds the first, trying to stay alive. Can he find the second? He can. But J-Cap is there for the trade, but it's ah, a 2v3. The trade had to happen before Slasher got the second kill. They allow him to get two, and things starting to unfoil right now for Luminosity, but they still have a chance in this. 2v3, and there's a sniper in the back they can isolate. They know he's deep now. They're trying to take on TJ, but the help is coming in through fire. Gunless is trying to get here in support. Gunless is going to get here in time, and TJ gets away with his life. Yeah, great movement by TJ. That allows that player from fire to help him up. Plus, Looney goes on the flank now on 1v3. So there we go, a couple of defenses in a row now. <laughs> Just no one can get a big advantage in this game, too. And again, you talked about the fact that both these teams, one of their better search and destroys. And it doesn't mean as much for Rise, because to be fair, they're, they're the best search team in the game. But for LG, they're kind of hit or miss, and this is one of the really good ones. I, yeah, I suppose. I mean, I, again, they were pretty bad. They were pretty okay, bad for I, a very long time. We can take it a step time. further. We, yeah. we can say they were bad. Yeah, and that's why they struggled so much in the Pro League. Anaheim, they got a third place, and maybe they did have a good search event, or maybe it was around 50%. You sometimes have a week and it clicks. And I, I bet they would wish it was this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Let's trade in Anaheim. Yeah. If we can pay that forward to champs, that'd be great. Black gets two, though. Fantastic start for him. John involved from top mid as well. And Slasher now left all by his lonesome. And I'm very surprised that Rise Nation went back to that A site. LG found a comfortable defense that they liked just the round before on that defense. And, well, Rise knew that B-bomb was wide open. But they go back to their A strat. Slack gets through with that airborne. Puts so much pressure on that window. Now a 1v4 for Slasher. He doesn't have the bomb, he doesn't have that much time, and Slack already has so much map control. So LG with another round win. Can they win back to back? Can somebody get a two round separation here? Maybe a little bit of a cushion. The thing about it, it's not really coming down to like 1v1s or 2v2s rarely throughout these rounds. It, because they're playing like so grouped up, it reminds me of like advanced movement search and destroy. They're just playing 4v4. They're playing so head on. They're hoping the trades go their way. Offense now to Luminosity. John's got the sniper out. Is the timing there? Looney jumps over and spots him. <laughs> Do it again. John's like, please. Ah, <laughs> now, he, now he's able to get across and John probably frustrated. Yeah, hasn't been able to find too much with the sniper rifle. Still having a pretty solid game at four and five with a bomb, or with that first blood. Can he find Gunless? Gunless though, an off angle, just, wow, he melted him. Another first blood for Rise Nation, as they're up to five. See what LG can find. Watch that number six. That's formal trying to get into a good spot. There is a couple of Rise members Slasher up there. Here. Now J-Cap goes to the gate, but Slasher, yeah, he was in a, a very pushed up position, but Formal does pounce. TJ is going to push it. The trade is there. Now Slack. How many? It's, all, it's always like a 1v2, 1v3. Like there's been all these difficult yep. situations that so far no one's been able to clutch. It's all been the man advantage controlling things. But with 30 seconds remaining, Slack just hunting for whatever he can. He spots Looney, backs him down. And look, Slack knows as soon as he fires off shots, they're all going to go at him. So he has to back down. He can't take that first gunfight. He is at three in a row, so maybe he finds a kill and plays for some streaks, but instead he's going to be gunned down by Looney. Tied up yet again. I mean, I guess we have to go to around 11. <laughs> so with the way this is going. We'll see. Does Rise Nation finally hit B? They've just favored A site so often. It feels like LG has made the adjustments to lock that bomb site down. Is this when you switch it up? Or does LG know that, right? It's just mind games yep. between one another. It looks like they might go back to that sort of very heavy strat. But Looney and Slasher now have Looney with that sniper rifle, but it looks like it will be a slow B hit. Looney and Slasher are going to try and work a peak top middle. John does have the sniper rifle out on the LG side, and the bomb's starting to push up near that B site. J-Cap's kind of the lone man there right now, and nobody in a position to rotate that quickly. I mean, John can help through mid, but he has a sniper, which, I mean, if it hits his shot, great, but 
not the best support there if they flood J cap. Yeah, he's a lot of pressure on a, cap. There he's got to go. find a kill. At least he one backs kill. up. Yep, he backs on up. He knows he doesn't have a lot of information, but Looney actually finds out first blood on a formal. Now a 4v3. Can they bring it on back? J cap does spot one. Nades out, and he's just going to back on up. Knows the pressure could be there. You saw TJ starting to push on up, and he finds that kill. Now a 2v4. Yeah, and they just they picked him apart, kept spreading the defense thinner and thinner, and just one by one, Luminosity continues the drop. Unless John st uh, John's able to world star the entire Ooh. team. Well, he almost started it there, but it's a hit marker for him. TJ plays it well, just backs on up towards that bomb. He's going to play aggressive, but the other two players are just going to play very far back. TJ cleans that kill up. And what was the difference? LG really didn't take mid-map control, right? They didn't play as a squad. Formal gets picked. John once again has a sniper rifle, right? That's sort of the bad thing. One of your lead well, aggressive players can't get out in the middle of the map. Think about what we saw in the previous round. Pretty much every single time a Rise players drop, the trade was there immediately. Mm -hmm. For LG, no trade, ever. There was no one even positioned to get the trade. I think that's the biggest difference between those two rounds. And now you have Rise Nation at match point. LG's got to go back to back. Otherwise, they're going to look at an 0-2 hole and the potential of not winning a single map once they got to champ bracket. And they were undefeated in, in yeah. that group From 9-0 to 0-6, potentially. He thought it was going to be a great weekend for them, but that 3-0 against Elevate, or 0-3, I should say, may haunt them. But in a round be, 10. Would that be the story of LG recently? Yes. Yeah, they can go 9-0, they can go 0-6. But LG do hit that B-bomb site. They do have a lot of map position, but here comes the nades out of Rise, and another first blood. There's just so many first bloods in their name. Now what does LG do? Looney trying to beat that corner. Is he going to find Formal? He is. And now at three versus two as J-Cap does find one. But Slasher and Co. start to move on up. It's on that J-Cap. But that's it. 2-0 lead to Rise. Rise Nation. It's a back and forth affair in the game two. The game one was a blowout. But all that matters is the 2-0 edge in this best of five. LG on the brink of elimination. J-Cap. One of the greatest champs players of all time might not live to see a Saturday. Formal, he won champs last year, might not live to see a Saturday. It's insanity here to close out day one of the champ bracket. <laughs> How's it gonna end? Can LG fight back? They need to do something very few teams have done throughout the course of the year, and that is reverse sweep Rise Nation. Rise just need one more map. We'll get to it after this quick break.
were the toughest, baddest squad on and off the field. Neither tank, nor sniper, nor minefield could take them down. They had names like Classic, Decimate, Hook, Chino, and Jack. Um, guys, is it just me, or does that seem like a lot of explosions? I mean, I, I know we're going for this whole epic walk thing, but... Should have worn earplugs. Here we go, Joe. This could be Luminosity's final map and maybe the building of something greater for Rise Nation. Maybe one of those insane losers bracket runs yet again. We know they can do it, but for me, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping LG show some semblance of life, something that they can battle here against Rise Nation. CTF has always been solid for them. This is a good map for them. Do you feel like the comeback can start here? Hey, it definitely can. I mean, Luminosity, when we first saw them, right, it was like the first match of stage two. What, they reverse swept the United, right? Like, they, they have the potential to do so. They have the veterans and the talent to do so. Hey, and again, here is that look at the most recent matchup. They played Flat Tower CTF, where Rise didn't win it two to one. The good thing here is you're playing Arden Forest, and I believe this is Luminosity's best map. I believe they're nine and two. And again, it's one of those maps where if JCAP goes around even or positive, these guys are winning. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I, I'm hoping, again, they can make this an interesting series, not just a blowout quickly and just get LG out of the tournament. I mean, our first series we casted, E United mopped the floor with, uh, what, Red Reserve. Now, maybe the same is going to happen here with Rise Nation and Luminosity. We need to turn into Ben and Revan, apparently. So yeah. game fives all the time. I have no idea how they do it. They have so, some... Some kind of magic. Some magic. The ginger magic. Although our finals are pretty nuts. Our finals have all been nuts. <laughs> Every single one's been a double best of five this year. Well, let's get into it. Game three, Arden Forest, CTF, LG fighting for their tournament lives. Can they get it done here? Well, Looney opens it up, finding one on slides, and just look how fast that Rise start to push up towards that ruined side. Jacob has to find a kill, but he doesn't. This might be a flight opportunity for Rise. John needs to stay alive. Slack just comes up off spawn. Nobody rotated back towards that ruined side of the map, and here we go. Slack is able to find one, but that flag is so far up towards Bell. Formal might have to make the play. He does beam one. The flag player now going to be isolated. Slasher off a of spawn, but TJ Slash there, stuff Slash. for a moment. Yep, Slash there. there. There's the return, and now suddenly this is a chance for Luminosity to attack. Four players in position to make a play. Everybody from Rise Nation deep side a bunker. One falls, two fall. Slack with the beam right now, and it all falls to Slasher in the back. But it looks like he's held it off for now. J Cap will be the low man, but no, he actually finds both kills. He kills TJ at Bell. He kills Slasher in the back, and this flag is out. An opportunity for LG to strike first. Yeah, we'll see if the LG can get these kills back in their base, and it looks like they can. Remember, I believe J Cap is at 400 points, so if he puts this in, it'll be close to streaks as well. But Looney is still here. He's able to find two. The problem is, is he's the lone man. You do have TJ starting to push up the middle of the map. Did he buy enough time? But no, J Cap gets a kill. That's going to be streaks for him. Full streaks off the start. What a turnaround from Luminosity. And if they bring this back, if they bring this back, perhaps that's the moment that gets it done. You're on the brink of giving up an early score to Rise Nation. You clutch up, you turn it into your cap of your own. Maybe this is where the momentum comes through for LG as John now starting to heat up as well. That's just one of those confidence plays. Maybe shifts the momentum just a little bit. Get these guys to another hard point, right? We know Rise can tend to struggle in it from time to time. If you look at some By of their struggle, matchups. struggle, I mean, it's not their best mode, basically. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but look at, like, some of their matchups with True. TK or even Red Reserve. Like, they can they can lose some hard points. And, well, LG not slowing down. As Slack and Formal do find some kills. It's on TJ and Slash to slow this down. TJ, wow. he's going to end up wow. getting picked. So here comes the here comes pitch. Watch j -Cap, number seven, pushing from Bell. He has this STG as well. It's a great position as he finds another one. The last player up for Rise is Looney. CTF has been their best mode for a while for a reason. Another flag is out. I another player from yep. Rise Nation drops, and a streak is in. What does he go for? Slasher and Gunless in Ruins. Slasher, we'll see you on respawn. The second cap now heading in. John trying to get it through. He's in before yeah, the help is there. And now a relay opportunity, like you said. J Cap's got another flag out. That's going to make TJ turn yeah, around a cabin. TJ. They have to find TJ inside of that cabin, but he goes cabin walk. And Formal gets a kill. He does. Now he just has to buy time. Slasher and Gunless are off spawn, both with STG. Wow. Slasher wins the gunfight, but still, if you're Luminosity, you have streaks, you have a two-flag lead, you're feeling good right now. 
doing very good for the first time really in this series outside of maybe a couple search rounds. Smoked in the game one, but you need to bury this Rise Nation team. If you're Luminosity, you're on the favored side. Pound this on, get as many scores as you possibly can. Build these streaks, because I don't know if 2-0 gets it done. And you can even see all of Ryza switch over to Mountain. So if you can play solid defense, you don't have to invest into those. What does that do? It forces them to use Mountain. They can't, or you know, they'll be either susceptible to stuns or nades. It makes your utility so much stronger. And here comes that push. Once again, is slacked, finds two. Just one player up in TJ. It's going to be TJ. The first one-on-one -on -one goes to TJ. JCap tries to trade it out, but can't get the angle. TJ does a phenomenal job inside a bunker, just making sure Luminosity can't get any more forward momentum. But there is still a presence here. It's just J-Cap. He finally falls as Rise Nation able to stabilize at least for a moment with 60 seconds remaining in the first half. But I like that by J-Cap because by some time, by sometimes what we'll see is teams get bunker control and you see those trees get called in. Maybe it doesn't turn into a cap. Again, force Rise Nation to run mountain for as long as possible. Your stuns and aids will be so strong. There's no reason to have to waste one on offense. You have that two flag lead. Take him into the second half, if you can. As long as you can hold on the onslaught of Rise Nation coming in right now, and it, it looks like they're able to do it. But no, Looney and Slasher actually find a couple of kills. The back line of LG is going to drop. Slasher is still here. He wins another one-on-one. -on -one. There's one more player to beat. That's going to be John. But John's able to get the kill and the return. So no flag run there for Rise Nation. Luminosity should enjoy this lead going into the half. Yeah, 20 seconds left. I doubt we get another flag touch. Maybe LG goes for it. You have John towards the middle of the map. Jcap is able to find one. What a game he's having at 11 and 5 and a fly cap, but Looney able to find two. That should stop the push of LG, but a 2-0 flag lead. That feels pretty good with the way this series has gone. Yeah, especially with the way the series has gone and really just how the opening moments went. Like, it could have gone so differently, right? If LG doesn't clutch up and that first score goes through for eyes, for eyes, maybe LG folds. Maybe it's like, all right, guys, you know what? This is it. You would expect that of these type of players. But I'm saying, like, that happens in the opening moments when you've got buried in the first two games. Who knows what happens the rest of the half? But they're able to make the plays. They get the early edge. Now they just you get a five more minutes. Wins. You get a map win, man. The pressure's on Rise. Again, Rise is a favorite to win this entire thing. Uh, and they're in losers round one. Well, the favorite before they got knocked into losers bracket. <laughs> All right, let's get in to the second half. Now Rise Nation on the preferred side. Can they strike early and often? Maybe force these streaks out of Luminosity. And nothing too crazy off the start. TJ is starting to get pushed up a little bit. He's not worried about the streaks. He's got armor. Energetic on Looney. Well, right that's all three dead for Rise Nation. Slash the last player up. Formal doesn't have the challenge just at all, but Slash almost beams him off that position. He's done it a couple times to him. But Slack does get into ruins. You have JCap locking down middle of the map. And remember, just when JCap plays this well in CTF, they usually win. And well, he's having a great game here. TJ able to pick up a kill as Slasher starts to move on forward. Formal still there. <laughs> Three kills now come in for LG. The last remaining man, the last hope right now for Rise Nation will be gunless, but he's at least able to pick up one almost a second before I'm able to snap, but the pressure is here from Luminosity. Okay, now does Jacob try to call in a streak off spawn? He's not here to help his team. We'll have to watch that number seven. It's looking like it. You see him don't move off spawn. Here comes that fighter pilot. The other guys just need to stay alive. Doesn't finish the second. Doesn't finish the second. Only gets one kill. And Slasher and TJ get a kill at home. You get nothing out of that unless somehow Slack kills everyone. He's not able to do it. What went wrong with that streak use? Uh, you obviously have one player who goes down during it, and then just the angle. It just seems like he couldn't find much. Or Rise Nation repositioned. They felt like they knew that was coming. I feel like he missed some shots, yeah. too, honestly. But that is great news for Rise. I mean, if you want to make a comeback, you want to get rid of those streaks. We always talk about it, so they just have to deal with the artillery now. Looney finds a pair inside of Ruins as he starts to move up the map. Both players out in the field for LG right now, so Bunker's wide open. Looney's just going to go. He's just going to go behind the back line, try to set up the kill players off a of spawn. Formal's waiting in the back, though. He's ready for the pressure from Looney. Slasher next. He gets caught as well. Formal able to make the play at home, and Jcap gets it done inside a cabin. So any pressure from Rise evaporates in a matter of this seconds. This is all LG wants to do. Slack, Slack gets his kill. Just stay in the ruins, you, right? You have one player that's Jcap towards this cabin side. Just spawn them back bridge. Don't allow them to get any map control. 
every single time they get a kill, that staggers Rise more and more. You've already wasted, you know, two and a half minutes. Things are looking great. Rise hasn't even had a pull yet. What do you think Rise needs to do differently? Like, what's going wrong for them? Because they haven't even really got anything going from this side of the map. Just look at this lane, uh, especially JCap and Forma. Those are your two ARs just shutting down a guy like Gunless. He was double negative. He was at 7 and 14. It looks like he's starting to turn around and the kills come in. Uh -oh. It's just on the John now. He has a stun. Maybe he can slow this down, but he needs to find a kill. He able to find one on a TJ. Finds a second. Can he get any more? He can. John with three. And the return. What a play out of John. Well, the defensive artillery comes in, but uh, you have an artillery in the form of John as he guns everybody as they push through Bunker. What a play. If he doesn't do that, maybe Ryze gets that first point on the board. The comeback starts for him. But John does not let it happen. What a moment from him. Yeah, you've had a couple of just key moments, really, from Formal. Everybody stepping up on the side of LG. It's exactly what you want. I mean, that's just, what kind of composure is that? You're in losers round one, you got 3-0'd by Elevate, you're down 0-2 now, and you just come out swinging in this CTF. This is your year, this yeah. is your final push. It's gotta feel good to get a map win. Yeah. One map win, get it on the board, go from there. Map by map, make it happen. You have some of the greatest Call of Duty players of all time in the roster, you know it's possible. It's not easy. I'm trying to think of someone that's even reverse swept rise, like United maybe? Like, it hasn't happened United, much this yeah. year. That might be the only one I can even think of right now, but there's 60 seconds from at least getting this CTF on the board, but Looney has gotten into bunker. If Looney can Ooh. make the play. Nice shots on the J-Cap. There's one more here, though. Doesn't expect John to be spawned up. So now 50 seconds left, and again, every single kill that LG gets, it just staggers this Rise Nation team. That's all they need to do. You have Gunless who's pushed up, but guess where the other players are? They're on the, they're on the other side of the map. Just a great half from Luminosity, and just think about it. Really, all of their production came in the first two minutes of this game. Absolutely. And again, in a moment where Rise could have gone on the board first, Ooh. and they relied on some big plays and a little bit of magic. But another touch does come in. I feel like Rise have gotten so many touches this half, made There's it about always two feet. One and more dropped. player. Yep. Always one more player. And that's all you need sometimes. Just one guy up to make the play. 15 seconds now on the clock. Not enough time to get anything done. John is still here. John keeps crushing. Makes play after play. And as the time starts to dwindle. Maybe this is where the comeback starts. LG gets their first map on the board of the championship bracket. But they need two more to survive. Can they do it, Joe? They absolutely can. I, again, we've talked about it in the pregame. You heard the guys on the desk. LG just need a good 30 minutes. They need a perfect 30 minutes to beat this Rise team. But it felt like Rise, like, you know, you, you have them down. You have them down 0-2. And then the slang just sort of disappeared. Well, have you been in a spot like that? Like when you were a pro player, let's say it's a loser's bracket match, you're up 2-0, you're feeling good, and then suddenly you drop that map through. Like, what's that feel like? Not good. <laughs> it's not a good feeling, right? It's kind of like you're hoping that the life is sucked out of these guys. Again, they got 3-0 by the Elevate. These are your champions, right? Like, just put them away and Rise Nation not able to do it. Well, CTF, we talked about how good they've been there. And LG, to be fair, it was pretty good first two maps for them, but Ryze was able to pull them out. So now the question, can they take a hard point off of Ryze Nation and push this to a game five? Because it goes to a game five, I believe it's what, Valkyrie? And that's kind of a solid map for either team as well, right? Yeah, no, Valk, Valk S&D is definitely a good one. We've had some highlights from a guy like John with that sniper rifle. We've seen what he's able to do, but we know how Ryze Nation likes to play that one. Now, if you're LG, I'm not sure how much prep time they've had or you know, if they've really gone over VODs with Rise Nation, but you have London Docks Hardpoint. Again, we saw Rise Nation play this against Team Caliber where he, or TJ dropped 58 kills. He just needs some help. What are your thoughts on this map for this particular matchup, though? I, I think you need a very good J-Cap in formal once again. I think Slasher and Gunless are going to get their kills, and you need a couple of guys to sort of equalize them. You know that TJ's going to go off, but guess what? You have a guy in John to counteract that to me, it comes down to the AR players. We're heading there next. As Luminosity still on the brink of elimination. Can they push this to a game five? It is our final match of the night. Before we head into Saturday and get closer and closer to crowning our world champion. Who's it going to be at this point? Guy, it's anybody's guess. I have guess. You, have you seen the top bracket? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's exactly. It's like TK. You know, got to be the favorite. Obviously, they're in the winners bracket. They won stage two playoffs. But have you seen that side of the bracket? <laughs> I mean, you have to think like 
seems like Complexity are out now, right? Red Reserve is still down low. You know, as Red just 3 0 Complexity. Unilad is up top. Unilad is a team that can be very dangerous. You still have EG who's in the winner side. EG's got to be feeling good. They just can't get ahead of themselves, right? Because that's what you sort of do. You're looking at your opponents. Oh, you know, if you think too far ahead, that's when trouble really comes about. And you still have Envy. Who knows what that Envy roster could do? It's true. They surprised us early in the day with a reverse sweep over phase. Maybe they've got some more magic left in the tank, but it is time for map four. Do or die time for LG. And you mentioned you saw Prize Nation with a crazy map on this earlier. Can TJ put up another performance like that? I don't think so, as that was the most kills we've seen on this map all year. But if he can get anywhere close to that, maybe it bodes well for Ryze. But let's get into it. Can Ryze close out the series, or can LG push this to a map five? Let's kick it off at the statue hardpoint. And TJ, well, he's already soaring. Now him and Looney able to find a kill, some kills, wow. but the trades are back and forth. Formal, the last guy alive, but basically it comes down to a 1v1 and Formal Ooh, wins it. Okay. Three kills off the start for Formal, but nobody's in the hill, so. Not too big of an issue for Rise Nation. Might not be a bad sign for LG to see Formal hitting some shots, though. No. Yeah, he's been tweeting out Beams quite a lot. I've been calling Every him day, Mr. Beams. <laughs> and they continue to connect. He's 4-0 now, trying to build towards maybe some early streaks. TJ drops top ladder so he can focus back to mid map. Tries to push, sl push Slasher, wins that gunfight as well. Hops into the hard point, and he's now got a glide bomb. Okay, he is just hitting everything right now. 6 0. Oh. There's not a lot of time on the board for LG, but at least if he's going off like this, okay. you're getting streaks. Fully streaked out, yet to drop. One more challenge in front, and finally, he's gonna fall. But the damage has been done. You don't let Rise get a point. You get full streaks. And already, Glide Bomb coming in. Yeah, here's the thing, though. Rise has a lot of position on that main street. As Slasher is able to find a kill, TJ and Gunless are here. So LG, they don't get too much time on this main street hill. You thought they were going to win the rotation, but Rise, they just pushed on main street. They dodged the Glide Bomb. Do you not love that use, then? It felt like a, a little bit too early. Yeah, it felt it's like, hey, I'm hot. Let's get it in there. Yeah, but there we go. John and Slack able to find three kills. Slasher still here, though, but John able to find three. As a, these SMD players start to heat up. It's John <laughs> is five in a row now for him. This is this is what you thought when this team formed. Yep. This tag team, John and Formal, top one of the top ARs in the game, top subs in the game. They, you think they would combine and destroy, but we, we've yet to see that really click that often if you needed it, if you ever needed it. It's right now in this map, in this series. And so far, so good as Luminosity continue to build their lead. And the second streak comes in from Formal. Fighter pilot in. John needs to stay alive, though. He's very close to streaks. Formal does find one. But Rise still has control, but John can't push up. He's at 675. If he gets taken down, that's a big no-no. And there we go. It goes down and three dead. So a waste of a fighter pilot, a waste of a glide bomb. This is a great opportunity for Rise Nation right now. They get a go. Good hold here, and they're right into the lead of this game. One spawns out. That's going to be Looney, I believe, who's going to be able to get a presence mid-map as Luminosity try to swarm. But three kills actually come in for LG. Looney trying to tag up anybody he can, but it's a nice break there with 30 seconds left. LG get in. I think two of those three kills were grenades. Yeah, great, great stuff out of LG. That utility usage so strong out of them. You thought Ryze is going to be able to hold it, but the kills come through. Now, can Ryze hold this barrel warehouse? You don't want this to get a little too crazy for Luminosity. They obviously had a very hot start. They just need to play their life now towards the back, and Looney and Gunless able to do so as they find three kills. You have one player who spawns up, that Slasher should be able to lock down the middle of the map with Gunless. He's going to get into a great position, actually, and fire. This is a really good spot. His teammates just need to stay alive as he comes around on a flank. Uh, yeah, a bit of a whirlwind. Doesn't connect, but the assist does come Teammates are going to spawn out. They're going to spawn out. That's the problem right there, and LG get full control. If you're going to push on that flank, like you said, they've got to stay up. They get punished. LG now back into the hard point with a 50-point advantage. But the swarm coming in through Cole from Rise Nation. TJ first in. TJ's going to drop. Gunless falls as well. And LG, where was this LG team in the first map? I, I have no idea, but that play out of Gunless, you got to go back to it. If you're, gun or sorry, Slasher. Slasher. If you're Slasher in that position, just stay front fire. That way your teammates don't have to worry about the contest. They can focus on the back. Instead, he tries to get a little too crafty with it, I believe. And, well, he spawns his team out. J-Cap awfully close to streaks, but what a play from Slasher. Maybe uh, making up for the mishap earlier as he shuts down any streak potential from J-Cap. I don't know if he does. It's a 70-point lead right now. 
We're headed to Crane. We'll see if Rise can get a solid setup. But you still have that artillery as well on the side of Formal. Crane hardpoint now up. Rise Nation inside. LG trying to find an opening. Jcap and John get kills. Formal's able to trade on one as well. He still has this artillery to work with, and now the push is really starting to come in. But this has been a nice, what, 15 or so seconds that Rise has been able to pick up inside of the Crane hardpoint. LG has got to get some pressure here, and so far, they haven't been able to do so. Yeah, the nades haven't connected on the hill. The nades have not connected. Jcap does get inside fire. Great kill on him, and that allows John to push on up. So finally, towards the end, it looks like LG gonna get some pressure, but just when I say that, TJ and Looney, the submachine guns find all four kills. This is big scrap time as we head back to Statue. It's huge because the hard point it is. Like, when you talk about Crane, you don't typically get a ton of time, but they that's, that's, the time, though. that's the hill. They start to fall back in a little bit there. They got at least, what, 25, about 30 25. seconds? Yeah, about 25 seconds. Yeah, but none for Luminosity, I think, is the big thing there, too. And we'll see. Does Formal call it in here? This is, uh, you know, a pretty popular artillery hill. We'll see what he does. Looney, he's at 600. Streaks could be big for Rise Nation. A guy who you know can turn it around for Rise Nation. Can be that unsung hero. But there is that artillery from Formal. LG just wants to stop the bleeding. Looney gets shut down, so he'll just have that glide bomb to work with. The, his shots hit everything but the intended target, but Slosher there to get the kill. Nobody's touched at you. I mean, the artillery a part of that, obviously, but still nobody, nobody in with under 30 seconds to go on it. Finally, somebody going to hop in. Still plenty of time on the play clock, floating just under three minutes as Slasher rotates into the hard point. He's getting awfully close to streaks now, too, as he's on a five streak at 18 and 12, and he wants to play for these. And LG, they just push towards Main Street as TJ and Slasher find some There kills. you go. Perfectly done. Let's Jcap get the hard point, picks up the kill, gets the objective point. I see. Shot there's the, the glide bomb. He's so gonna call the glide bomb, but is that his? No, that's Looney's. That's Looney's. Okay, I was afraid that was his. Because if he dies in that glide bomb, he can't control it anymore. But this will allow them to push on up, and this is exactly what we saw on the first main street. Slasher, nice shots on a Jcap. And they pushed on up, and there we go. And we thought LG, they were up 70 points, and they allow Rise Nation to get right back into this one. That lead, absolutely evaporated. You know, Formal started out, what, 7 or no? He still put up. He was at up. 16 and 5 at one it's point. Also sold down a bit maybe recently, still 20 and 12, but Slack's got to get it going. J-Cap's got to get it going if they're going to push out this lead because in a matter of seconds, it's going to be a Rise Nation advantage. And there it is. Rise Nation now in front. They take control of this game. They've locked down the Main Street hard point and multiple players starting to transition towards mid-map. Okay, those are some nice shots from T-Shea. Yeah, here's the thing, right? Sort of the superstars and Gunless and TJ not having the most impactful games, not having horrible games, but they have Looney who steps on up. When you have Formal and John playing at the level that they're at, you need a third guy. Where is Slack and Jcap? If they step up, they probably run away with this game, but they're having pretty slow games. But LG does have control of Doc's warehouse. We'll see if they can lock this down, but TJ starting to heat on up, and now he has some streaks of his own. Not only does he get the two entries to get into the contest, he <laughs> also gets streaks to go with it. He it took over this map earlier in the day, and he's looking to do it again now at 19 and 18 on a five streak. Just holding inside this hard point as the play clock gets towards that two minute mark, and it might actually come into play because there's not a whole lot of time of really up for either team. Yeah, he just wants to get the rest of these streaks. A lot of LG pressure. Yeah, there they we are. go. He's able to get it. So full streaks as he's on a six free. Snaps on a J cap on the flank. Just one guy left. But the good thing for LG, they do get some pretty favorable spawns. Four barrel building. For formal though. Well, he's on a six free. He has not stopped at 26 and 14. So you shut down the streak from TJ. I know he already picked up the tier three streak, but starting to build some of your own and your setup at least for now, for the next hard point. But the glide bomb's gonna come in. They're gonna go for J-Cap in the back, and look how far pushed up Formal is. If they drop in the back, where's the spawn come in for Rise Nation? They're still spawning out useless. So Waterside still controlled by LG, as Formal still works for these streaks. Yeah, you can see Slasher has to go all the way around. You have three players arise in the back. He's going on a bit of a flank through that water side, but this is great time for Luminosity. Three go Here down. Go. Here we go. 27 and 14 for Formal. <laughs> Seven in a row now as he has taken over this map, and LG once again trying to build this lead. Gunless, though, beams him on the entry, but it's Slack that comes in on the flank. Just trying to snap left and right. Can't finish both kills. But maybe softens up a little bit for J-Cap, but he ju does just that. The j starting to heat up. Can he find the extra wall bay? No, but this is great scrap time as we go back to Crane. 
you still have streaks on both sides. TJ, gunless, they were trying to contest the final 10 or so, not gonna happen, but they have great positioning low water side. You have gunless in that position with the bar. It's in a very tough spot though, as Jcap just diving around. Gunless does get taken down. This allows Jcap to push on up. Can he find Luna? He does. An opportunity now for LG to get in. Remember, they didn't get a single second on Crane the first time through. Maybe an opportunity here as Slack starts to get control of fire, picks up the STG, snaps onto a kill, and he wants to soar. The LG fire moving forward right now. There's still TJ here. TJ doing what he can, but Formal on a bit of a streak yet again as he drops, though. Rise Nation get back into the hard point. And just a reminder of those of you at home, you know, if you tuned in a little bit late, I know it looks like a winner's bracket match when you look at the top of the screen, but this is an elimination match on a Friday night. The loser of this is done at COD Champs. LG trying desperately to get to that map five. And you feel like LG, they have a couple of opportunities to put the game away, but Rise Nation just does not go away. And TJ still has a couple of streaks with that fighter pilot and that artillery. Nice shots on the slack. Statue, we're headed back to it as Looney. He finds two down towards low water. What a game uh, Looney's having. Just keep, an eye, and 29. keep an eye on that play clock. Under 60 seconds now. And that's sort of the scary thing. If you're TJ, you can't call that artillery in without wasting 30 seconds. Very good point. Very good point. That, that, that's crucial. I mean, you melt more time off. So this lead, even though it's only 30 points for LG, it's very scary when you think about the play clock. Because Rise Nation, you think they've got to be, they got to border on flawless right now. They can't have a contest. They can't allow LG to pick up time. And that's exactly what's happening. LG now eclipsed the 200 point mark. They're looking to get this, this fifth and final map. Formal right now is 37 and 20. There we go, fighter pilot on in. They can't allow them to get these last 15 seconds or so. The problem is though, LG win the rotation. Look at the spawns for Rise Nation so far out. Just 10 seconds left on statue. As you said, Formal having a great game. When's the last time we've seen him in this form? Yeah, this is what you saw for three years, but not much this year. But when it mattered most in this game four, here it comes. They've almost got it done. They just need to hold on. The play clock continues to dwindle, Rise but now Rise Nation, in. they do get back in. They've got to get this time and just make sure, basically that they're in the hard point at every single moment. They're going to invest oh, the artillery no. as well, but two kills come in. John Cap's right over the top, actually clears them out of the hard point for a moment. So another couple seconds come off that play clock. But Gunless gets three kills, but he doesn't expect Slack through the back. They just go through the useless building. He's able to find one. Can TJ get the second? 15 seconds on the clock. John just trying to play his life. He knows how much time is left. He actually wins the gunfight. Back and forth, these teams go on Main Street. I don't know how you get this done if you rise. I don't know how you do it. They can do it. You know they can. There's so little time. You need to get this scrap. You can't even step off of it, really, because you don't want the play clock to go any further. And you need a perfect break into Doc's warehouse. It's got to be perfect. Can they do it? They got now down just sides. over 20 points. Here's your chance. Gunless gets the entry. They're inside. The play clock continues to dwindle. It's being contested. They have to get the final player in the corner, but it's Jcap that's found two. It's Jcap that's holding on, but Slasher finds the pair. John gets the kill. Get out, get out of the hill. Get, it, just get, get out. out of there. Get out of there. And there it is. LG get it to a fifth map. What a game on a formal. What did I tell you? I said it was going to come down to the ARs, and he stepped up big time. What is the last time we've seen him play like that? He knows he does not want to place top 16. Think about the last championship bracket he had last year. It might have been statistically the most impressive run by a player in the history of Call of Duty. Now, I know he hasn't had that year. I know. But right now, he can make a statement. If they can knock out what many consider to be the best team in the game, I know you mentioned this could kind of vault Rise Nation. If they get this one, that could vault them into making a big run. Surely, the same is true for Luminosity. This is the defining moment in this entire weekend. So many big names across the board in this matchup. It all comes down to this final map.
One more map. One more map will decide this series between Luminosity and Rise Nation. Think about what an insane day this has been. Let's look at it from Luminosity's perspective. Uh -huh. You get 3-0 bop by Elevate, <laughs> and then you might reverse sweep Rise Nation and knock them out of the tournament. If you're Rise, <laughs> you might lose the TK, which is understandable. Yep. You might lose the LG, which is understandable, but you'll be out of the tournament on day one of the championship bracket with the top 16 finish when you've been considered the top team for most of the game. This is insane, and it comes down to this. Valkyrie they, search and destroy. They've been the most consistent team in terms of placings all year long, but Rise Nation just feels like after that 2-0, I don't know if they thought the series is over or what, but it just seems like they just slowed down, and well, the guys in LG, that dynamic duo in Formal and John has just arrived. It's arrived just in time. Yeah. Maybe. Can they do it? <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. Can they do it one more time? Uh, and for Valkyrie, I think you mentioned it early, earlier in the series, pretty solid map for both, but... Uh, Again, Luminosity has been suspect at best when it comes to search. Rise has been the best search team in the game for quite some time. Well, everything else has been backwards this weekend. Uh, well, that's this true. week, so that's let's just true. keep it going, right? Yeah, might as well. No, but for Rise Nation, the experience of this team, they've been in so many game fives and grand finals. They obviously have the experience, the teamwork to clutch on up. It's just, can they do it once again? That, that's what's so wild to me. It's like not not just the organization brand. You think of Rise Nation this year and you know Luminosity this year, but again the hunt for JCap for the three rings. Formal going for back to back. Slasher trying to establish himself as maybe the best player in the game. Same for Gunless. TJ looking for that that first championship, like world championship. Like there's just so many storylines that could just die. Well, right and now, for like a guy like TJ, he's 18, right? Like you've won so many tournaments this year, but then you get on the big stage and well, he's put on a great show. It's just. The team hasn't performed to the level that we thought of. Which is wild, because I think TJ has been the biggest wild card. Like, if you think of consistency, if you point at two players, I mean, Gunless and Slasher, they're there. They have been so consistent throughout the course of the year. TJ's been the question mark at all times. Now TJ's playing great. What the hell's going on? I mean, Looney was playing well last last game, right? The, the past couple on the CTF, I think he had the best one. It was just the ARs and Slasher and Gunless. I, you know, I talked about it. I felt like if Formal really stepped up, he could shut him down. He was able to do so. But Valk, S and D, and there we go. There's the game five record since stage two. LG, 50%, not bad. Rise Nation, though, four and two, just a little bit ahead of him. We say this all the time. Like, when it goes to a map five, you can throw out map stats. <laughs> Doesn't <usually>. matter. <laughs> You can throw out all the names, the, the orgs, like it's just <laughs> anything can happen. Here we go, crowd makes some noise. It's the final map of the night. Woo! Here we go, LG on offense first. John, you mentioned him on this yeah. snipe, uh, with a sniper on this map. He can be prolific. He's got to be here. Yeah, we've seen him really open up this A-bomb site. Sometimes he likes to work that operations bunker towards that elbow, and he, well, there we go. Finds that first pick. Now, what does LG do? They're just gonna play the clock a little bit, force Rise to spread out, make them make the move. They might bait out Slashers. You can see that number five starting to work up towards that B-bomb site. He's able to spot Gunless, but the A-bomb site's wide open right now. Oh, what? Okay, okay. all right. I, I would, there's a problem. Formal gets caught off guard. I would fear John right now, but yes, that can happen. When you have man advantage, at least be in a position to trade. They're not able to do it, and suddenly it's a 3v3. You always have to expect that push towards the B-site, but John able to find another one. J-Cap finds Looney, now a 1v3 for Slasher. Can Slasher make the play here in round one? It's going to be so tough to do. He's been spotted. Yeah, go ahead, quick scope him. <laughs> now John's playing him. Come on, keep it going. Just dancing with him a little Come bit. Come on. <laughs> Slasher gets a few bullets into J-Cap, but has to back down. 20 seconds left on the clock. He's dead to rights, and John gets the final kill as well. So we know John can do that on this map. We know he can. How do you try to combat that if you're Rise Nation? It's always very Hide. tough. If I'm Rise, I'm playing retakes. We know how good they are on it. Uh, obviously, that was a little bit different. TJ goes into that bomb site and gets picked. So you just have to play the, the retakes. You have to play the utility. There's a shot of John right there. A great first round with three kills. Yeah, he's got the 3-0 in the background. You started off with three, <laughs> three kills in that first round. We'll see if you like can keep it going. Job. I like that. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm always aware of my you surroundings. Are, you are. That's probably why you're a professional player. Round two underway. Can Rise Nation now answer back on offense? John's put the snipe away for now. Ops to go with the fast SMG class. Just playing the angle right now. 
Shoulder peeking for information. Wide peaks, but there you go. They're able to at least trade the kill, but nice shots by Gunless to win that first gunfight. Now three versus three, but Slack somehow lines up two inside of the site. Last man once again is going to be Slasher to 1v3. Obviously a very different scenario. This time they have bomb planted, and he's got to try and that clutch. Wow. Tags the first, can't finish the second. It's John with three <laughs> in the first round. It's Slack with three in the second. And LG go up 2-0 early. Yeah, great couple of rounds, and maybe just some miscommunication yeah, between Rise Nation. I'd have to watch that again. I don't know how Slack got an angle where he's lined two up like that. It feels like things are falling apart. When this Rise Nation came together, obviously we knew from top to bottom, superstar talent, but what was the problem? We knew there were so many Joe. big personalities where they Joe. could explode. Clint. They might go first to first to second to, to 16. top 16. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Has there ever been anything? I can't, I can't think no. of anything like that, especially like no. champs. Holy hell. But not over yet. It's only been two rounds. John's got the sniper out again. Rise Nation looking to get anything going. TJ getting an angle. gonna hold this. Just a very slow round once again, maybe trying to find an opening with John with that sniper rifle. 60 seconds left. And this is what I was saying, if you're Rise, give them no opportunity. Say, you see anything different from Rise right you, now. You don't have anyone inside the A site. Where is the opportunity? Gunless, your shoulder peak, just back on up. Wait for your team. Jacob and John do get inside Operations Bunker, but that is okay, as the bomb in Slack is still very far from that A site. But Gunless needs to stay alive. He's gonna have some pressure. May have Slasher watching over him. There we go. You can see Slasher peeking it, but John just misses his head. He backs on up, but Formal finds that first blood. And TJ was holding that for what seemed ages, but somehow Formal able to peek that with a bar and find the kill. He expects it this time. Another. Rise Nation answer back for a moment, but now there's 20 seconds on the clock. They got to get this bomb down. Gunless and Looney find all these kills. Suddenly it's a two versus two. Gunless now by himself, one versus one. 12 seconds on the clock, and they got to get the bomb plant down. Gunless able to clutch, and what a round that is. That is a round LG should have won. They should be up 3-0, but they collapsed, and that could be a turning point. You have the bomb. Why do you challenge there? The last two players, you're in a one versus two. You trade the last kill, get the bomb, and back on That up. can't happen. You're in a two versus four. This is your opportunity to go up 3-0 in this search and destroy. It can't John happen. goes for a couple snipes. Just You just can't either miss there, or you just have to play your life and back on How up. big of a moment is that in the scheme of this game five? We'll see. We will see. I'll tell you what, though. You can't allow Rise to get back into it. And, well, they might just have. They gifted them. <sighs> gifted them life in this game five. Can Rise Nation string together another round and tie this up? Gunless leading the way. Smokes out. But shots coming in. John, John's wow. somehow getting a kill there through the smoke. And Slack connects on a grenade. I think John softened him up as well. They work together, pick up two players, but... It's a 2v4 like it was last round. Maybe Rise Nation can get it done again. TJ not having the best start. We talked about you kind of ride or die by the kid at times. And, well, he's 0-4. 1v3 now for Slasher. Here comes the team push out of Luminosity. And just think it could be 4-0. But you'll take a 3-1 if you're LG. A great use of teamwork and utility. And, well, it seems like the crowd, they want LG to move on. What is going wrong with Rise in this map 5? It just feels like LG has done a lot of preparation. They look like a, a very different team here on Valk Search and Destroy. They're catching Rise Nation off guard. You know, Rise are trying to switch it on up, but you know, they go towards that site and, well, four or five knees just rain down on them and, well, they get picked. Round five now underway. Slack will be your bomb carrier. Look at the defense from Rise Nation. A bit more aggressive this time. They want to get into the A side. John not able to hit the flick. But TJ hasn't crossed back, right? So, well, never mind. He gives it up, so maybe there's that timing. But there's an opportunity where TJ is, is in that corner. And, you know, the offense obviously builds towards B. There was no presence there whatsoever. Oh. Now Looney's at least gotten to a position where he can maybe get eyes on that B site. Are they just trying to bait out a rotation? Maybe, maybe flip it back? They may be, but let's see if John, he's starting to get a little bit aggressive towards this middle street. Does he find a pick on his wow. sniper? He does. They're so afraid of his sniper rifle, and they should be. He finds one, almost finds a second. Here comes a push. It's a split push towards the B site. John 
Almost finds another one, and there we go. A 1v4 now for Gunless. John is taking over this map five. Four kills in a row, seven and two. And how many times for Rise have we said, oh, it's a 1v3 for Slasher. Oh, it's a 1v4 for Gunless. They have been put in so many tough spots. But Gunless hit some nice shots <laughs> on the side there. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait uh -oh. just a second, wait just a second. He tags him up, but they're formally able to finish the kill. And it's another round of Luminosity. Oh man, oh man. LG inching their way forward. Just a couple of rounds left before they were complete this reverse sweep on the Rise Nation. I think at one point I said LG had to win map two because <laughs> they couldn't reverse sweep Rise. Because I literally was trying to think back over the year of when that's happened. And it's been so infrequent, so rare. But now on the cusp of getting it done, Formal on your screen carried through the map four. His duo, John, looking to carry through this map five. But you can't count out the championship caliber team of Rise Nation. If a comeback's going to come, it needs to happen now. They can't go down 5-1. They've got to get around on the board, Joe. And I tell you what, I love this play out of Rise. Because you know what? A lot of teams, if they're down in the map... Well, hold on just a second. We may have a first blood opportunity here. But a lot of teams will back on up. They'll play slow. But Rise Nation takes it right to them. Now a four versus four with the bomb Another down. First blood. Formal with the first blood. Slasher might get caught with a nade. Nades back and forth. Slasher trying to find team some kill. kills, but there's kill. some team kills now, a 2v2. But Looney able to help out his teammate and finds John. Now Jcap, the two-time world champion. Can he do it? No. Rise Nation winning off. What a big round for Rise. Slasher stays alive in improbable odds, what it seemed like. The grenade comes in, he gets some shots in, baits in the team kill. And ultimately, they're able to clutch up the round. And I, that was a must-run round. They had to do it, and they got it done. And, and again, I, I love it. You'll see a lot of teams, they're down. They play very slow. They play nervous. TJ and Looney just go straight into that bomb site and plant it. Yeah, it's a 4-2 advantage. But another story, which we haven't highlighted too much, is the first bloods. You take a look at LG. They have five. There's only one first blood for Rise Nation right now. If they can turn around that stat, that stat alone, that gets them back into this game. You want to know what also turns that around? If TJ finds a kill, well, he's sitting yeah, at 0-6 right probably, now. That probably helped too. But you know what's so tough? I mean, he's just trying to play inside this A site, but guess what? A guy named John has just been shutting it down with that sniper rifle. It's so tough to peek anything. But look at that B-bomb side. It's wide open for LG. Honestly, the only time I've seen TJ struggle on this map was against Pharaoh on TK. Like, another yeah. SMB guy that really had his number. Here, like you said, it's been, it's been John that's getting it done. Rise Nation. Looks like they're going to rotate on back towards that B site, but they stack towards that operations bunker. But just 40 seconds wasted off the clock. No movement from LG. They're, they're really just waiting on John. But they know where TJ is. Another first finds blood. Another, another first blood. And here comes TJ trying to tie it back on up. But here's a pressure and he snaps on a formal. What a big kill that is. But he's got to wait for that sniper and John hits it. How many times are we going to say that this game? John continues to connect. And how many times are we going to say this? Slasher in a 1v3. Not much time to work with, but they have to get the bomb down. He's checking the corner. He saw the gun. He saw the gun. He's able to get the kill. He snaps on the bomb. Slack's not able to get away. He doesn't get away. He finishes the kill. Now it's a 1v1. He spots John, but John! John gets it done and clutches in the 1v1. Slasher, so what a close. Moment. So close, but of course it's John. Former world champion teammates in John and Slasher go up against one another in a 1v1. That was awesome. Wow, what a play <laughs> that was. Just one more round for Luminosity. I feel like this should be a match on Sunday. It's Friday <laughs> night. It's losers round one. This could be a grand final. Holy moly. <laughs> one round for LG to get the reverse sweep done. Rise have got to pull off four rounds in a row. They're hitting B. For now, it is wide open. Formal's tracking back, but it's an empty site. Can the nades of LG yeah, connect? They're coming through. There we go. Formal throws his. Doesn't connect. So all the nades basically gone for LG. They're going to have to retake in a 4v4, but Rise gets so aggressive. Once again, on their offenses, they find that first blood. They find the bomb site that they want in Slasher. Well, he lost a little 1v1 against John last round, but he wins it right there. Nice job. Slasher finds a pair. TJ trying to finish it. He's able to do it in a clean round from Rise Nation. The site's wide open. They get control. And I think the biggest thing for me is LG's utility doesn't connect. Yep. If they're able to find an entry kill with those nades, it could be a different round. But they don't, and Rise Nation able to hold the site. But what is Rise, or sorry, what is LG expecting for them to be sort of near that pit or near the bomb site? Rise was so far pushed up. 
towards their side that, uh, of course, the nades don't hit. TJ starting to turn it around, and as he does, so is Rise Nation. Three rounds now needed for Rise. The LG offense starting to build forward. Looney is stunned, but able to get away. Slasher's being aggressive in map. He spots a couple. He at least is able to finish one. Snaps onto oh, John. John. But John does get the kill, so the trade is there. 3v3. Bomb getting planted Watch inside the A site for LG. Car's on fire, but he does spot Slash who crosses towards that side. And, and maybe LG. There we go. John turns Just around. tickled him a little. Yeah, John turns around, and LG trying to get pushed up towards Operations Bunker. You have Formal. He gets inside, but he gets a stick. Gunless gets a stick on a John. But there's a trade now, a 2v2. This is it. This is it for Rise. They've got to clutch up. Slack by himself. Two on one for Rise Nation. But Slack can make the play. There's 20 seconds left. He just has to play the clock. He's, he's reading this beautifully. They're not on it. They're not on it. There's only 15 seconds left. He needs one kill. He, he'll need one kill here, Maven. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's going to check it. He's checked it. He wins, TJ. That's it. Gets it. Yeah, and there it is. Slack gets the clutch. The reverse sweep is done. LG gets the victory.